Hello my kings and queens and welcome back to another video. So as you guys can tell, I'm not in my studio. I went down there to film and there was a big bug and I said, Chomp, chomping up the No ma'am. <laughs> so I'm in my mom's room right now filming. Um, so yeah. Today I am doing a highly requested video that you guys have been asking me for. Not really on my channel, but like on any social media or just people I know in general. And I always repeat it, so why not just make a video about it? Growing up, you know, being a preteen, a teenager, I never really had acne prone skin, but I did like get bumps here and there, um, as you can see in the pictures. Freshman year of high school, I didn't really have a handle on it. And so I would just like try to put like little dollar store makeup on top of it. And it was just, gross so on my junior year of high school i got into like better makeup for my skin and other things like that and better skincare products and now i've set with a routine that i am in love with and that i do every single day every night regardless of what's happening i could be sick and not feel like taking a shower but i will still get up to do my face routine oh my butt little disclaimer i always shower okay i always shower i'm just saying if it got to that extreme I would still do my face routine. I'm not encouraging being dirty because it's gross. Back to the video. Um, that's how um, important it is to me. So I will be sharing some of my hacks and items that I use for my skin. So let's get into the video. <laughs> My skin is not 100% perfect, but I do have what I want, which is not a lot of acne and still that glow. The first is my morning routine. Right when I wake up, I brush my teeth first, and then without rinsing my face or anything, I go in with these. This is Noxzema Ultimate Clear Anti-Blemish Pads. And basically what this is, is little pads. Um, they may burn your skin just a little bit if you're not used to using them, but I use them every morning, wipe down my face. Then I go in with my Neutrogena oil-free acne wash. And I just apply this all over my face, scrub it in, rinse my face. But I use African black soap, which is good for acne prone skin and a glow. So I use that every single day. And then lastly, I apply my Dove Soap. And I have sensitive, sensitive skin. It's very sensitive to a lot of things, so I use Dove Soap for that. If you guys don't remember, a few months ago, I posted a TikTok that kind of sort of went viral. And as you can see, my skin was so bad because I was using um, this concealer. I'm not gonna give away the name because it's like not trying to bash them or anything, but I was using this concealer at my local store and it was so full coverage, but it will cause my skin to burn when I put it on or take it off or like blended it in. And so my skin was not like happy about it. So one day it just had a big breakout. It was itchy, burning in the sun, and it just felt like a bad suntan, like sunburn. I stopped wearing makeup for like two months and I finally got back into it and got some products that actually work for me. Born This Way, Too Faced, foundation and concealer and I did spend $90 together for those both of those products but they are worth it because my skin is so much better. Now I'm going to take you guys into the process of taking off your makeup. So I don't wear makeup every day and especially because we're on quarantine and I'm at home I don't really need to wear makeup unless I'm filming a video and I have zoom calls for school but I really don't care like this is how I went on zoom I had on this <laughs> sky zone shirt and my hair was like this and I have no makeup on so that's just an example of like my day without makeup but when I do wear makeup or if I'm making a TikTok and I'm wearing makeup my process is I use baby wipes I do not use makeup wipes because sometimes they have a lot of properties in them that are not good for my sensitive skin so I use Meissler water you can get this at Walgreens um you see I'm almost out because I use it I used to use it a lot when I was at school and I wore makeup every day but I use this and I use baby wipes to wipe off my makeup um you may have to use more than two wipes as you would a makeup wipe but it works better because it's for babies. It's made for sensitive skin anyway. Then after I take off my makeup, I do my whole morning routine, the whole this product and this pro these uh, soaps, but I do not go in with this. And this takes off all your makeup. If you do one wipe and you're like, oh, it's gone, you go in with this, 
and it's a whole new face like makeup that you didn't even notice and a good good hack is to always clean your lashes between uses never take off your lashes and apply another layer of glue you always want to peel that old glue off and if you want a video of me showing you guys how i peel off my old glue and just soak my lashes after usage let me know down below in the comments because i can film one of those now for my face mask routine i do a face mask at least twice a week if not once a week or a weekend um and so what i use i got this from whole foods this is aztec indian healing clay and i mix that with some apple cider vinegar i used to use agave nectar but now i just use honey because they pretty much have the same properties in them this one's just more healthier and then i go in with some cinnamon and i mix that together and put that on my face i put it on at least for about 30 minutes and then i rinse it off it can leave your face red afterward but that's just it's not a breakout it's just the effect and then afterwards it is so good you don't wash your face after you take it off apply your moisturizer and then your skin is left with this glow and it is so so nice for my night routine before I go to bed, I always come in, especially from school, because for some reason when I'm in public areas, my face tends to feel dirty when I get home. So I always, when I come in, I do just the African black soap um, before I go to bed. I use aloe vera gel. Um, as you guys seen in my other videos, I had a green one. That one has alcohol in it. Make sure you do not get that one because if you have cuts in your face or if you just did your eyebrows or anything like that, acne, it will burn your face. Get it um, alcohol free, but I apply this in the morning and at night. And I also apply my lotion that I use for my body, which is this coconut body oil formula lotion. That's really good for sensitive skin as well. And I just love the smell of coconut anyway. Also, when I go to bed, I notice that it's not just about what you're putting on your face chemical wise or property wise, but also the things that you're laying on your face. For my pillow, I use a silk pillow this is my pillow that I sleep with every day as you can see it's silk and it's really nice and silk is just good for your skin in general it let your skin breathe unlike um, cotton and it's just a really it's really pretty on my bed anyway <laughs> also my phone since quarantine I talk a lot with the phone on speaker I use FaceTime so I don't really have to worry about putting my phone up to my ear that much anymore but in public restaurants or in public in general, always make sure that you keep your phone clean because dirt can set up on your phone from keeping it in your pocket, in the car, on tables. And when you have it on your face, it's just bad. I would always get acne along here and it was just gross. Also, if you're in school or because you're in quarantine and you're sitting watching Netflix, I tend, and it's such a bad habit that I'm trying to end, but I tend to always sit with my hands like this on my face doing this and that is also a way to get acne so if you're gonna do that which i i say you shouldn't anyway but at least have your hands washed especially during quarantine you should be keeping your hands washed anyway but keeping your hands clean and to not touch your face is a great way to keep your skin clear and don't have other people touching your face either you guys asked me about my glow i just use avocado oil it doesn't come in this um i got mine from mariano's and i put it in this container because it came in a big jug but that is what I use for my glow. For my lips, I use Vaseline. Um, I just got this Burt's Bees Medicated Moisturizing Lip Balm because my lips seem to crack very easily. So I was telling you guys about my gloss after that one, but um, there were some audio issues going on. So this is the gloss that I use. Um, it's cute. Oh my gosh, I look like a my last thing um is to just drink water water is what your face loves it's okay my favorite drink is orange juice i drink orange juice all the time every day i'm coming to the refrigerator drinking orange juice but water is very very important it keeps your face hydrated it keeps it youthful good so drink your water, drink your water. Um, like I'm saying guys, these are all things that I use for my face. I'm not telling you to go out and buy all these products because everyone's face is different. Um, I do highly recommend if you really do not know your skin at all and everything that you use has not worked out, I suggest going to a dermatologist or talking to a doctor about it because um, I don't want to be like, I don't want people to think like, Oh, I use this because Sierra told me to. No, no. 
I'm just showing you guys, people ask me how I get my skin this way, so I'm showing you all the products that I use. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to become a king or a queen. Also, comment down below video ideas because it's quarantine and I have a lot, a lot of time to film. So if you have any video that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram at CRXAndrea and my makeup Instagram at CMakeup. Also, make sure that you follow me on TikTok on the road to 200K. We're at 171K, I think, and that is crazy. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys are staying clean during this quarantine. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!